Okay, just a short video to show you how to use the new Mark Duino hollow projector boards. When you first open your box, you'll get one of these boards, which is important to note the where the input and the battery connectors are, plus and minus. They have to go that way around uh, because obviously when your LED is pushing outwards, you want the connectors on the back. Makes sense. Uh, you will also get a reflector, which is uh, just that just pushes on for the sake of my demonstration, but. When you get these, you should glue these on with either acid-free silicon, otherwise it'll rot the board if it's got acid in, uh, or ideally a hot glue gun is probably the best thing. So I'll leave that just uh, pushed on there for now. You'll also get one of these, which is a 30 centimeter jumper wire. So that's to provide your power to the board. Um, now these will be different colors, because when you buy these, these are all lots of different colors. Uh, well, this is what I'm gonna use to actually connect to the LED, to the input side of the actual board. Because what this board is essentially doing is simulating a single LED um, with all, but in a bright way with lots of electronics. Um, so this goes in place of where an LED would go. Now on a Mark Duino board, there's a specific input now, well, there's specific output areas that you can use on those. Um, this TSYS system, I believe, has an output system as well as just the Jedi system that you can plug them into the kind of hollow projector connector. Uh, I don't have those systems here. I've got one in my R2, but I can't really take it apart for this video, unfortunately. So what I'm gonna use is a charge bay indicator board because I have lots of these because I, I build those as well. So I just happen to have one that I prepared earlier. Now, this particular board is set for 5 volts. Now, that's set for 5 volts because I've got the right resistor on for 5 volts. Most of the systems out there are 5 volts. Both the versions of the Mark Duino boards are 5 volts. The Jedi is 5 volts, and I believe the t is 5 volts as well. If you do want anything other than a 12 volt, so if you want to run this board on 12 volt, let me know. I can do that because I've got resistors that will let it run at 12 volt. But if you don't specify it, then generally I'll just send them out with a 5 volt resistor because that's what most people are going to use. So anyway, to hook it up, I've got me I've got my reflector on. I've got me, and then I want to connect. First of all, I'll connect me battery. So looking at the front, I've got the. Uh, get that a bit closer. I've got the plus and the minus. So I'll use the red on that. And I'll turn it upside down and I'll put me plus and me minus on there. Right, and for the sake of this demonstration, I'll use the grey side of this connector for, for negative. So I'll plug that on there. Now what it's doing is there's an opto isolator in here so that when this one is getting a signal, it will then tell the power to turn the main LED on. Um, so it doesn't matter too much whether you get this the wrong way around because it's it'll just not work if it's the wrong way around. Uh, so just try that one both ways until it works. So right, now on my board here, my charge bay indicator board, it's quite handy because it's got a plus five volt and a ground, which I can borrow for the demonstration. So I'll plug my plus five volt, uh, the ground onto there. So that's my ground. Now on a, on a, on a charge bay indicator board, these three LEDs are for the battery state. Um, so either of those will, will work in this particular instance because I'm just, I'm just doing a test. And this board is actually running a different software anyway that I use for testing LEDs. So, um, so I'll put that onto one of those. We see it says LED actually on there. Um, and that's that. So now if I turn that on, There we go, one a very, very bright hollow projector. These things really are very, very bright. And with the reflectors on, they do give a nice kind of parallel beam, um, which you might be able to see. So, um, and that's it, that's basically it. Remember to tell me if you want five volts or 12 volts specifically. Uh, if not, you'll get the five volt version. Any questions, let me know, thank you.